Hello, my Libras. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of November. And we're going to start here with pulling a card from the Chakra reading cards. And we're just going to use these to get an overall like picture of what the creator wants you to know about the month of November, whether it's the major theme or the major energies, just whatever the creator wants you to know and get you in the know for your November. Let's give it one more shuffle here. There we go. All right, creator, for our Libras, what would you like them to know about their November? There we go. Right away. <clears throat> So you've got inspiration, beautiful card number 11. I'm loving that. Definitely some inspiration coming forth for you in the month of November. So a new spark um, coming, like new, new passion igniting um, for you. This is the sacral chakra, um, which is the you know second one from the bottom, the orange one. Um, and it says here that you've called this card into your awareness because it's a time to get inspired. Find your passion and share it with the world. Amen. <laughs> Inspiration is constantly flowing through you and around you at all times, and it's inviting you to align with and connect to its powerful and creative energy. What inspires you and makes your soul shine? You know what makes your heart sing, right? It's time to surround yourself with inspiring people, books, experiences, and anything that infuses you with inspiration. Have you been feeling bored and stale? What do you love to do that brings you creative inspiration? Whatever it is that fills you with energy, it is now time to bring it into your world. When you're driven by inspiration, it brings motivation, joy, and happiness into your being. And this wave of energy will bring forth amazing positivity to your world, allowing you to feel content and with a sense of purpose in your life. When you're inspired and living in this vibration, those around you benefit as this state of being is truly infectious and you start to also inspire others. And the affirmation for this card is, inspiration is constantly flowing through me at all times and I am inspired. I love this for you because, you know, a lot of times in life, we're living lives that we think we're supposed to right and we don't have passion around it um, and you can notice that when you wake up in the morning and go "Ugh, i'm awake again <laughs> instead of busting out of you know excited you wake up earlier than your alarm and you're excited about the day um, and you can't wait to get um, into the next you know piece of your adventure and your journey because you're truly moving towards something that you're passionate about that does make your soul sing your heart full of joy right versus when we um, are trying to live someone else's dream that they have encouraged us to to be in other words these expectations of the should the supposed to the need to the have to um and then you know again you're not uh, it's not igniting passion within you because it's not what you're passionate about. So I love this, that this is bringing awareness around. Um, I really feel we'll see what comes out in the cards here, but what you're um, you're discovering, you know, I love that I mentioned what you're stale about. You know, it's like, ugh, you know, this um, crispy cookie isn't crispy anymore. It's bending. It's not supposed to be soft. It's supposed to be, you know, this great, you know, tasting thing, but it's not, you know, um, but you're discovering during this time, during November, what it is that you aren't passionate about and what it is you are. So we'll get more into this, of course. Um, I also am going to pull a card here from this major arcana of this deck. This is the Revelations Tarot. And what I do each month, at least up to this point, is I take a tarot deck and I split off the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. Um, and I'll talk about those in a minute. But the major arcana we're going to use like this card, what represents what the creator wants you to know just overall for the month of November. So additional information on the, the generalness here. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Just give these a good shuffle. All right, Kratos, so for our Libras, what else do you want them to know about their November? Okay. And you got Justice. The Justice card. Beautiful. And I love the Justice card because um, you do have the Ace of Swords here, um, and which means that you are weighing out the difference between your small T truths of your human side, all these expectations coming in and discovering your capital T truth, which are your higher truths. Because this balancing act that happens here is you have your human self, you know, um, your human mind, your human conditioning, um, and then you also have your higher self, which is this powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being made of unconditional love. You know, that's your true self, your higher self, the capital T, true capital s self right and and so this is perfect for this because this is this balance right um number 11 here um is actually what this card is too yeah xi number 11 so <laughs> it's definitely this balance and this inspiration that's coming that was card 11 card 11 synchronistic showing you um the difference between the higher and the lower and what you're really passionate about and what you're really um, wanting to um, invest your energy and time and life into. <clears throat> All right, we're definitely going to get more information here. Um, the four suits of the minor arcana are going to represent four different um, like phases of your life, um, four different areas of your life, the four different parts of your beingness here on this earth. And we're going to start off with the wands, which is the fire element. And so this represents your, um, for this reading, it's going to represent your spiritual side, like your spiritual adventure. You know, ones are usually like your drive, your ambition, your inspiration, <laughs> your, um, you know, just your energy, um, the spark within you, um, and again, like your passions. So um, we'll see here, Crater, for our Libras. What do you want them to know about their spiritual adventure during the month of November? Okay, like this is the one here. Yep, and you've got the Three of Wands, which is a beautiful, um, a beautiful card because the Three of Wands um, does represent a very focused um, energy for you. Um, the Two of Wands would be like, um, okay, let me back up. So the Ace of Wands is like your, this inspiration, your energy and the spark that you have, that's your spiritual energy and your, and your passions, right? Um, the Two of Wands comes in when you, that um, inspiration um, gets kind of put into action in a way where it's like the planning. It's like the ideas around the passion happen. Um, and it's like, okay, I'm, I'm planning. I know that I'm going to go from A to B to C to D to D to D to D. And you're making these plans and you're um, focusing in the inspiration. Well, the Three of Wands then represents um, that you know, these plans that have you've been made are actually, you've, you have taken action on them. It means you're taking steps on them. You're making progress in it. You're making success in it. So I'd like whenever you have an idea, like you're like, oh my God, I want to do this. Um, and then um, you're like, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. And then you start, you know, taking those steps like from A to B. And now you're like, um, at that point you've seen some progress and you have this excitement that you're just ready to take the next step and so this is a beautiful message because it does show that during this um, month of november not only do you find your inspiration but you're making plans and you're taking at least you know um, steps to it which is great because you have a thousand steps you don't need to take a thousand steps in a day it's all about the journey and about living your passion because it doesn't feel like work when you're taking steps towards your passion you enjoy each step as it's going you don't need to get to the end you know um because it's all about the um, energy you have each day and that you're investing into this moment towards your dream 
Um, we're also going to pull a card here from this energy oracle and just see what else the creator wants you to know about your spiritual adventure. So you're definitely making these steps in your spiritual side of your life, on your passionate side. And like it says in um, the affirmation, you are being inspired. So don't, um, don't second guess those and back off of those. All right, great. So for Libra, what else? Okay, do you want them to know about their spiritual adventure? And you got Blossoming Abundance, number three, number three. <laughs> A lot of synchronicity in your numbers. I love it. So yeah, definitely you're um, making steps forward um, in this um, journey that you're headed off on, this passion. Yeah, increasing wealth and value. So this card shows a beautiful garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the tree above. So this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in dramatic and unexpected ways. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold. So this card indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. And I love this focus because um, definitely the other message that comes with this is whatever you do focus, this amazing energy that you have within you, whatever you focus on is what grows, you know. Um, if you focus on lack and, oh, this is what's missing and, oh, this is what's bad is happening. And this is all this negative stuff that's happening. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. Or like it says, if you focus on what you're enjoying, what you're grateful for, um, all that, you know, what you love, it just grows and grows and grows. I kind of look at it like you have this fire hose um, attached to a helmet on your head and it's pointed you know forward and wherever you look is where all that fire hose energy goes and so that's what it does so wherever you're focusing is where it is and if you're like why is it i'm looking over here why is that growing it's like well that's where all your energy is headed so if you change where your focus and attention is that's what grows that so i love that for you all right, so we're going to move out of the spiritual side and move into the pentacles, which is your physical world. It's the earth element. So it's all those other things that are on stage with you and this giant play that you're involved in in the world. So that would be the characters that are on stage with you, the job, the situations out there, what you own, your possessions, your you know money, and even your physical self. So this will represent what the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during the month of November. All right, creator, so for Libras, what do you want them to know about their physical adventure? Okay, that's the one there. And you've got the Nine of Pentacles, so yeah, definitely you see that um, in the garden, and here's that abundant garden here. You know, it almost looks the same, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. Um, I know I'm, I'm goofy sometimes, but I'm full of joy. What can you say? And you are too in this picture because this is showing that you're in this beautiful garden. Again, um, you know, in fact, when it was describing this, I thought of this card because you do have um, coins hanging from the bushes and but you're you're all in this garden by yourself which means you have found this feeling of abundance um, within you by yourself without the aid of others in the external world you do have your feathered friend here which um, for me always represents your um, beautiful connection to the higher realms you know your support group the posse you have on the other side of beings of unconditional love and light um, and they are here to show you um, how abundant your life is to show you what's ripe for the picking um, so definitely connecting to them um, is an amazing thing to do but yeah this is definitely about your life does feel this abundance and you do feel um, especially with focusing on gratitude, 
you just your whole energy of your life changes to where instead of your seeing where where there's gaps and lack in your life your expectations um kind of dissolve and dwindle away because you are focusing on what you're grateful for and especially with this inner inspiration and um, connecting and balancing with your higher self with your lower um you know lower vibrational self the human you really see that you have so much within you that you've been searching for all along you know the sun truly comes out and it's like oh ah. you're like wow you know this is you you are the sun you know you are this bright bright being of you know powerful eternal supernatural unconditional love right so when you have that and you sense that it definitely um, transforms your life because you see the world in a whole different way when you're full of gratitude right we're also going to pull a card here from the angels and ancestors oracle and just see what else the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during november for our Libras what else do you want them to know about their physical adventure I know I would just stop right now right <laughs> this is beautiful inspired and abundant boom and done <laughs> okay fuck this is the one right here yep you've got the earth mother beautiful feel loved and comforted and i really like this because she this reminds me of the number three in the major arcana which is the um empress you know mother nature mother nurture um really uh, abundance you know feeling this beautiful unconditional love you know she is the mother that does comfort us does um allow us to feel this amazing love and this amazing belonging but it's also about this beautiful abundance um, and she does you'll see um here she's got the um moon on her third eye here and the goddess moon um connections here too so it's definitely this beautiful um connection to the higher worlds and let's see what else it mentions here for you all right so it says allow yourself to be cherished earth mother is protecting you with a shield of love and light earth mother is the female counterpart to sky father it's auspicious to receive this card because in the eyes and heart of earth mother you are her child and she's highly protective of her baby and will give you everything you need to grow and expand earth mother is only covered by leaves in this card showing the vulnerability of the earth so every day she experiences challenges that she has to adapt to and overcome her energy represented by the symbol of the pagan triple goddess which is what we were showing here the maiden the mother and the crone <clears throat> can help you adapt as the changes of life come your way now the extended message for this card is says you may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness if you felt ungrounded know that the earth mother is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength you may not feel like a child but in the eyes of the divine you are a child of light and it's important you know that and feel loved if you had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help you clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making the sacred love connection you're being guided to make choices that are based on love and it's beautiful because um, not only is this the physical in the earth element and you've got the mother of all earth cards here <laughs> literally um you know um, it's beautiful because it's very grounding um and you're not getting arrogant you're not you know sometimes with all this amazing energy that's coming in you know we can get arrogant and we can um 
instead of being thankful, right? Um, but I love that this grounding comes in to help you stay grounded in thanksgiving and in gratitude, you know, for this time. And I love the reference here to the child too, because there's this amazing undertow of all that, that you are um, able to go into this only child relationship with the mother and the father of all things. I um, mean, I love that it mentioned the sky father because you got the sky father, the earth mother, you know, that's our creator. They are the mother and father of all things. And you can have this Trinity, you know, normally the Trinity is God, the father, the Holy Spirit, the comforter, um, and then Jesus, the child. But you can be this part of your own individual Trinity where you are the only child to the creator in your relationship with them because the creator has amazing ability, obviously, to be everywhere all at once, 100% of itself. It's not like, you know, you're one child of trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and you get this much of their time, right? This is all you get. It's like, no, they can be present with every single one of us in this only child relationship where, you know, we have their attention, 100% of their attention, 100% of their love, you know, all just for us. And we don't worry about any of the other children because they have their own relationship. We can have this amazing only child relationship with the creator of all things. And I love that because I don't know about you, but I'm all about being spoiled as an only child of the creator. Right, right. <laughs> all right. Next, we're going to move into the swords suit, which is the element of air. And so the element of air is all about our mind. So it's our thoughts, our beliefs, our mindsets, our attitudes, our expectations. And so this will be all about our mental adventure during the month of um, November for our Libras. And of course, you are air sign. So this is your realm. You love this. You're comfortable with this. You've lived it. So this is like home for you. <laughs> so nothing to fear in this, this uh, stack, right? All right, creator, for our Libras, what would you like them to know about their mental adventure during the month of November? Make it really obvious for us. the one right there <clears throat> yep <laughs> there you go king of swords so um, you of course are master of your thoughts you know again you are an air sign so um, here is this beautiful um, sword here this is like we talked about here um, with the um, ace of swords um, you bear and hold on to the ace of swords and that is your ability to cut away those thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve you you know those small t truths that we talked about with this justice card that you're cutting away i mean that um you're like finding that yeah they serve their purpose for the past you're able to experience your life with all those expectations and supposed to be's and should be's you got to experience the limited feeling the powerlessness you know the um, feeling trapped all those beautiful emotions that we don't get to experience on the other side you got to experience them and now you're ready to cut away what you're ready to cut away um, I love too that um, usually you know he does have his hand extended which the king of swords you being the master of thought um, and beliefs and expectations and all of that you've been through the journey of the mind so much that you know that um, the most beneficial way for your life um, has been to keep an open mind and to be able to cut away things that no longer um, serve you um, and not judge yourself for it, but have your hand open to receive new information, especially with connecting to the higher realm, connecting to your higher self um, is definitely um, a beautiful thing with that. Um, also, the King of Swords, um, you know, you can kind of see all this um, water around him too here he has learned that making decisions purely on logic and purely on um, sensory 
information that you're receiving from the outside world that if you do it purely on that because you can't always depend on all that information if you make it purely on that it doesn't usually turn out um the best so it's also with that openness um it's about also connecting and balancing emotion so it's this balance between mind and heart you know between thought and emotion between the earthly world like we said here with this balance of this earthly world with the heavenly um, as well so it's that beautiful you know awareness that comes in definitely the same energy um, that i'm feeling from this justice card here <clears throat> And then we're also going to pull some cards here, or a card from the numerology guidance cards here, and just see what else the creator wants you to know about your mental adventure during the month of November. But I love that. Yeah, definitely with this new inspiration, you're cutting away these supposed to's and shoulds and seeing through, you know, all of that stuff to your heart um, and finding your passion, igniting your passion. All right. So far, Libras, what else do you want them to know about their mental adventure during the month? Of November. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So if your passion is a spiritual career, then boom, here you go. <laughs> you know, and what is not a spiritual career, right? I mean, <clears throat> you can be a supervisor of people and make it a spiritual experience by um, using your creativity. By and, and that's what this Three of Wands does too. The number three is very much about creativity. So bringing in that co-creator feeling bringing in that spirituality your higher self into situations where people are just like oh my god they're the best supervisor ever you know they listen to me they're compassionate they don't judge me they help me live my dreams and da 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 da, da. and you can be that could be a spiritual career it doesn't have to be you know card reading or a medium or you know meditations or you know any of those things yoga you know it can be you know definitely and if that's your passion and that's what makes your heart sing boom 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 there you go but um you can bring you can make any career a spiritual career as long as you bring spirit into it right so i love it let's see what else comes with this card here yeah. So this card indicates an opportunity to embark upon a career in the mind-body-spirit arena. So this could be a full-time or part-time venture. It's entirely up to you. You may already have the credentials to begin this work now, or you may require further study before you're ready to start. Whatever your situation, this card is confirming that you have genuine talents and abilities that need to be put to good use. You may decide to work as a clairvoyant, a life coach, a homeopath, or healer and seek clients from your home. Or you might try your hand at being a card reader, a numerologist, or astrologer at your local mind-body-spirit fair. You may choose to be a writer of inspirational books or blogs, or conduct workshops in the community. Regardless of what you do, and however big or small the scheme, you can turn it into a career with the potential for success. And I definitely, with what we've seen here, we know that to be true. So in order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you to embark upon a spiritual career. Only you can know when the time is right, but no matter what, you must believe you will succeed. Remove the limiting beliefs that are preventing you from moving forward, like we talked about with the Ace of Swords. Remove those limiting beliefs. Release your anxieties and trust in the divine. When you focus on being of service, rather than your worries, your doubts, and your fears, the universe will send you opportunities to serve, like we talked about. Don't focus on those worries, those doubts, and those fears, because that's what grows then. But when you focus on gratitude, focus on of being of service, then that um, grows and the opportunities to serve also grow. 
And the affirmation for this card is, I serve the greater good, and I'm given all that I need. I love it. So there you go. And again, you know, it mentioned a lot of different types of spiritual careers, but um, if those don't resonate with you, you know, you can definitely look on how do you want to uni uniquely share the unconditional love in your heart with the world? And how do you want to do that? You don't have to regurgitate or duplicate something that someone else is doing. It's like, how do you want to do it? Plan it. Um, take step and put your energy into it because you have this guaranteed success um, in it. So I love it. And then lastly, we're going to move into the final suit, which is cups, which is the water element. And this, of course, represents our emotional adventure. So this will be what the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure in the month of November. So creator for our Libras, what do you want them to know about their emotional adventure? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so eight of cups, eight of cups is all about, you know, what you're ready to leave behind. All these things that, um, you know, all these cups, all these emotions that you experienced in the past, again, they serve their purpose. Um, and they, you know, did what they needed to do for your adventure. But this is about um, leaving behind no long, uh, what no longer serves you. One of the beautiful cards, um, I think it's the Light Sears Tarot. I love it because it, it shows like this bowl in the forefront that's on fire um, and the person's walking away into the sunset. And it's like this, this bowl, this ritual is you're burning and releasing those things that no longer serve you. It's like this little ritual that you did. And, you know, maybe you wrote down the emotions and the events that you used to define yourself by. And you're like, no, no longer. And I'm burning those and I'm letting those go like the Phoenix. I'm rising from the ashes and I'm becoming something new, something greater, something bigger as I connect to my higher self, as I connect to my passion. And as I put all this energy into it, you know, not judging yourself, not um, trying to erase what happened, but um, realizing that it made you who you are today. Um, it served its purpose on purpose for a purpose. Um, and now you're ready to move on to something new. So I love that. Lastly, we're going to pull a card here from the Angel Guide Oracle. And this can be what else the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of November. But because it's the last card for this reading, um, we're also going to make it a wild card. So whatever the creator wants to let you know about the month of November, it's all fair game. <laughs> all right, creator, what's your final message for our Libras for the month of November, please? Right here. Yep. Joy and contentment. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. You can't, can't um, say that that doesn't kind of sum up here, right? I mean, you definitely have this beautiful joy and contentment that comes when you discover your passion um, for your life and you start leaving those old things behind. You do you know, um, you don't feel content when you're trying to meet, uh, you know, all these supposed to's and shoulds. The outside world has told you who you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing and blah, 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 right? It's just like you don't feel content. You always feel lack. You always feel like it's never enough. And it never is because the outside world promises you that this is the stuff that's going to quench your thirst. This is the stuff that's going to make you feel whole and only at least to disappointment, right? It doesn't last for long if it ever even makes you feel that way at all. But when you connect to your higher self and you connect to that beautiful energy, that unconditional love energy, you know, this only child relationship that you have where you realize that I am unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things. I mean, boom, you have everything you need inside you. Everything outside of you just becomes extra. You feel this abundance. You feel this contentment. And definitely, you feel this joy. So let me read from the book here, too. Got a little passionate there. 
So the message is, be here now. Enjoy the present moment and all of the positive experiences that have unfolded and are continuing to unfold. A wave of contentment is washing over your life. Contentment is about taking time to reflect on your situation, enjoy the moment, and trust that you are always being guided. Your angel team is encouraging you to follow your heart now. Do what makes your heart and soul sing. We didn't mention that at all during this reading. Do what makes you smile, dance, and rejoice in the glory of life. Your angel guide is encouraging you to live your joy fully. Know that your ultimate purpose is to live joyfully, and through the expression of your joy, you will reach a state of bliss and contentment. Happiness is the key to inner peace, and you'll be given an opportunity to experience it now. If you find yourself feeling sad, drained, or overwhelmed, know that this is all about to change. In order to usher positive energy into your life, your angels are encouraging you to do what makes you feel alive. Whether you're drawn to pursuing a hobby, spending time in nature, or with loved ones, or even having a digital detox, you're being guided to make those moves now. Anything that makes you feel positive, blessed and joyful will support you in magnetizing more of these feelings and experiences into your life. Your angels are waiting to shine their light and love on your world, so call on them to bring that love in now. So <laughs> pretty much everything we talked about during this, this reading here summed it up, right? Beautiful. I am loving this November for you. I'm excited to see what um, inspirations come and and what you're um, going to be doing so if you feel like sharing that you know throw it in the comments down below i love to hear about um you know this beautiful transformation and hear about what people are passionate about in their lives so um, i'm loving this i'm going to leave the reading there um, just know that each and every day and every moment you are indeed unconditionally loved by the creator of all things like an only child and i of course, love you too. Um, I like to let people know that I do monthly readings, but I also do like weekly element readings and new moon and full moon readings and a bunch of other different readings throughout the month. So if you haven't already um, and you want to make sure you do get notified when these come out, just make sure to hit the subscribe button um, down below. Um, and then of course the um, alarm bell, that's the notification. So you'll get notifications on that. That, um, as well. And if you enjoy these readings, if you give me a little thumbs up, then that definitely helps out. My um, channel has to do with algorithms and all sorts of fun things. And it lets me know that um, you enjoy the content um, as well. So um, I think that is everything I need. So um, until next time, just know that you are loved and I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. You take care.